All this rain is causing this, a mess at Area Lakes, including Lake Ray Hubbard. Trash along with branches and other debris, it's all collected there along the shoreline. The state reports Lake Ray Hubbard is currently, it's full, 100% full. And there's going to be even more water heading to the lake this weekend because of rain that we're going to get. So it's just going to keep filling up, Dan. It, it is. In fact, uh, take a look at some of the area lake levels now that have been rising uh, not only day by day, but in some cases hour by hour. Bridgeport is up about three feet in the past 24 hours, now only down seven feet below normal. At one point, it was down about 25 feet below normal. Texoma is almost 20 feet above normal. Major flooding going on up around the lakeshore there. Grapevine almost 14 feet above normal. Joe Pool almost 8 feet above normal. Louisville 8.1 feet above the uh, normal level. Uh, off to the east, the, the uh, lake levels are, uh, are near full, but we're not seeing the kind of flooding we are in some of the Dallas Fort Worth area lakes. And it's no wonder. Look at the May rainfall totals here. Don Niblett and Decatur, almost 15 and a half inches of rain already. Granbury, Albert Lawrence there, nearly 12 inches of rainfall in Plano. Nancy Sinetti there, 9.3 inches. John Prater in West Fort Worth, nearly 7 inches. And the Douglases out in Cooper already have accumulated over 6 inches of rain in uh, May uh, alone so far. Low to mid-60s at this hour around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Winds are currently calm. The dew point at 58, the pressure at 30.13. We've actually seen a few breaks in the clouds. Notice our next batch of showers off to the north and northwest of Abilene. Most of that is going to bypass us to the north and west. Uh, that's due to the track of our next disturbance currently located in southern New Mexico. It'll skirt up through the uh, panhandle tomorrow morning into western Oklahoma. Close enough that we'll see scattered showers here tomorrow, but certainly nothing widespread. That said, this is the, the parent system, so to speak. Uh, it's back south of San Francisco, very energetic and also going to be chock full of moisture here. It will send several disturbances our way over the weekend with the final piece of energy then pushing through on Memorial Day itself. So the rain chances are going to build as we head into the weekend, 30% Friday, Saturday at least through the, through the afternoon about 40%. Saturday night we're up to 70% and by Sunday it looks like a 90% chance. And by then the uh, likelihood of a flooding will be uh, pretty high across North Texas. Our computer model rainfall here, this is a uh, Dallas Fort Worth rainfall accumulation from three different computer models uh, through eight o'clock Monday morning. You average those together and it comes out to uh, just over two and a half inches. I think there could be locations over the weekend in North Texas that see an excess of four inches of rain. And there is a threat of severe weather beginning Saturday afternoon into Saturday night, a marginal risk here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, but a slight risk to our north and west. So let's play out future cast again. Mainly scattered showers tomorrow with the better chances to the north and northwest of Dallas and Fort Worth. Then as we roll into Saturday, Saturday morning gets off to a relatively dry start. There'll be scattered thunderstorms developing in the afternoon and the activity off to our west and northwest is the stuff we'll have to watch. That could be severe. Then I think as we roll into a Saturday night and Sunday, the uh, rain and thunderstorm chances go way up. 78 tomorrow's high, 83 on Saturday. The rain chances climb to 40%, 70% Saturday night, 90% on Sunday. Again, a high likelihood of flooding. Monday will trim them back to 50% and all the way down to 20% by Tuesday and Wednesday.